Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the simplest and easiest way to create a Caspa wallet. So let's take a look. There are three official wallets that you can get from Caspa. The first one is the web wallet. Then you have the desktop KDX wallet, which is also the core wallet and runs as a full node. And we also have a command line wallet. In this video, we'll be looking at the web wallet, which is gonna be the easiest one to set up. The other two I'll link in the description below and I'll walk you through those as well. But let's take a look at the web wallet. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link and it's gonna bring us to wallet.caspanet.io. So the Caspa web wallet is gonna be probably the simplest one with the least resistance to get that set up. We're gonna go ahead and create a new wallet. The first thing it's gonna ask for is a password. Strong, alphanumeric, more than eight characters with some symbols is gonna do you best. I'll go ahead and create one right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my password in here put it in twice to confirm it and then I'm gonna click on next so now I'm getting a recovery seed phrase now I'm not using this wallet that's why I'm showing it to you what you want to do is make sure that you copy this down and put it in the secure location the seed phrase is a recovery seed phrase so if you ever need to get access to your funds if you lose your wallet for whatever reason this is gonna be the only way to get it back so make sure no one's around keep this a secret put it in the safe secure location and once you have this saved, you can go ahead and click on next and it's gonna ask you to recall it. To verify that you have everything recorded correctly, it's gonna ask you a few questions to verify that. So the first one is what's the fifth word and I have it as ghost. Then what's the second word? I have that as original. And then what's the eighth word? And I have that as circle. And those are all confirmed. So we can go ahead and proceed. We'll click on done. And here we are, this is our wallet. It just generated us a new address right over here. This address is the one that you can use in your miner if you have a miner running, or if you just want to send or receive funds, this will be your main address. All your transactions will show here, whether you're sending and receiving. And if you go over here to the wallet section, you have a few options over here for compound transactions. You can export, you can export your transactions as a CVS file, update transaction times, back up your seed and recover from your seed. Scroll down a little bit further here. You can also export your seed file and import a seed file. And they also have some donation options at the bottom. Go ahead at the top and click on network. And it just lets you know the current network status. And that's how you do it. That's how you set up your Caspa wallet. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Hope you found this useful. Please smash that like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.